This is an arm workout for women that targets stubborn areas like the back fat and arm fat. So I'm just going to quickly show you, do a preview. So just march on the spot while I'm showing you. So move one, uh, two punches and two undercuts, simple as that. And you don't need any equipment for today's workout. Move two is slight bend in the knees and then you're reaching the arms up and over to the side. So today's workout is suitable for everyone and it's really effective. Then move three, you step the foot out to the side and behind and you're alternating with the arms as well out to the side and then in front. And then the final move, move four, is a traveling knee lift. So as simple as that, we've got four moves, we repeat it twice. So if you're ready, we're gonna get started with the first one of those exercises, which is doing those punches. So come into a wide stance for me, knee soft. And let's get ready. And now we're going to punch it out. So you do two punches in front, two undercuts. You are literally doing this for 40 seconds. Then we go straight on to the next move. Keep thinking of the benefits. So this first move, I call it the cardio punch. So we're getting that heart rate up. So we're burning calories, which helps reduce excess body fat. And we're toning as well. So we are now halfway through. You've got another 20 seconds to go. Look at where we're targeting. So let's keep that focus. Remember, it's really important. Put in enough effort keep those abs tight and here are just some amazing transformations I'm getting so many incredible pictures before and afters from people following my workouts right so you can see the next move coming up get ready because we're going straight into it no break two and one and now bend the knees and reach the arms up and over to the side so for this one I call it move two it's the back fat reach so it's a slight bend but reach those arms up and also I'm keeping your arms above heart level now so cardiovascular you're working a little bit harder. So today we are doing lots of things. We're increasing your fitness. We're helping increase your metabolism. We're toning and sculpting. You've got 20 seconds to go on this move. So let's just keep that going. That's good. Reaching that up. Keep visualizing where you're working. All right, that's good. Keeping that going. Nice control. That's it. Reach that up. So we're not resting the arms today. So you can see your next move coming up. What I want you to do is step out with your left leg. So your right leg's going to stand still. So now step it out, step it behind, step it out, and then behind and add in those arms. Take the arms out and now in front, keeping that going. And so this is move three, which I call two in one. You're gonna keep going. When we reach that 20 seconds, all I want you to do now is do it so that you're working the opposite leg. So just change legs. Now take the other leg, and this time now get ready, push the arms out to the side and in front out to the side and in front. So where we're targeting here, we're working through the arms and through the upper back as well, keeping that going, nice control. And imagine your arms are really pushing something out to the side and you can see the next move coming up. We're gonna do that traveling march. So let's go for 40 seconds. So what I want to do today, we are working on endurance. So this is move four called the calorie moving march. So again, we're targeting those two areas. And what I'm deliberately doing is really challenging the endurance of these muscles. And whilst we're doing this, don't forget on my website, lwrfitness.com, I've got hundreds of blogs. So if you want to find anything on healthy eating, motivation, nutrition, healthy recipes, whatever, I've got them all on my blog page. All right, let's keep that going. And you're doing really well. And we've got another five seconds. So we're going to keep working these arms. And what we're going to do, we're going to repeat this once more. So let's get ready. Keep moving. We're going to go straight into those punching arms. And let's go 40 seconds. So today's workouts a little bit different because we've got the repeaters but this is about working endurance challenging those muscles doing really well you've got another 30 seconds to go so powerful punch and that undercut keep it going knees are soft tummy is tight doing really well you're going to see when we're halfway you'll get the 20 second mark that's good let's just keep that going that's it, we're challenging these arms. And this is where we don't need to use weights if we're working endurance. So what we're doing is you're working the muscles from lots of different angles. That's where we're gonna get that lovely sculpt, but we're not gonna bulk up, so we're gonna get that nice tone. So you can see your next move coming up, get ready to go straight into position. And you will feel your heart rate is raising now, two and one, let's go straight up. All right, that's good, reaching up from one side to the other. And with this one, just again, imagine you're pushing something up that's really heavy. So you're like adding more resistance. And this is where, as I said, you don't always need to use weights. Working on endurance is such a great way to sculpt through your arms, two and one. So you've got 
20 seconds left to go. If you want to make this a little bit more challenging, just take a slight deeper bend through the legs. That's it. And so this is the last time you're doing this move today. So this is a quick six minute arm workout. You could do this literally every day if you really want to sculpt and shape through your arms and lose back fat. So next move coming up, get ready, standing on that right leg. So you're going to take the left leg out to the side and then behind and add the arms. So to the side, and then take the arms in front as you take that leg behind. The other really good thing is, this is gonna be working your coordination. It's really good for your mind, for balance, coordination, literally everything. So you are ticking off every single box with this workout. All right, so we've got 20 seconds to go. Get ready just to change the leg for me. So now you're gonna take your right leg out to the side and then step behind. That's it, keeping that going. So nice control. And imagine your arms are resisting against something. So really feel that working. So we're shaping through your shoulders. We're helping reduce excess back fat. And we're also turning through the back of the upper arms too. And when you can see your next move coming up, going straight into it, keeping those arms up nice and high. So travel it forwards for four and then march it back. So again, this is the cardio move, that cal calorie moving march. Now, if you are on Instagram, definitely come and find me. Tell me you've done the workout. Update me. I love seeing all that on Insta stories as well. That's good. And keeping that going. So we are now over halfway on this one. And if you're not already, come to Facebook but the Lucy's Squad um, group page, which is fantastic, the most amazing community. You will get so much um, support and accountability there as well. And we are nearly done. And that is today's workout complete. So what I would suggest is let's just do some stretching. So just a march on the spot for me. And if you need to, you can hit the pause button if you want to grab some water. If not, let's just go straight into doing that calf stretch, stretch that heel or take that foot behind. As you can see, I've had a quick outfit change. Um, so the point of doing the leg stretches is today is doing a little bit of cardio as well as toning the arms. So we want to stretch the whole body. Just feel that stretch through the back of the lower leg. All right, that's good. And now let's change, take that to the opposite leg. So step that heel behind, just feel that stretch through the calf muscle. So I'm planning on filming you guys so many new videos. It has just been crazy this summer. I've um, had so many projects on. Let's just now take that to that leg in front. So we're doing that hamstring stretch and um, got my new clothing range launching and also I've worked on a very exciting new book so there's been lots happening but I'm back in the studio for you all filming you so many new workouts so let's take that to the other leg and what is important remember when you are trying to lose excess of body weight to reach a healthy weight it is so key to focus on good nutrition and also the right size portions. And if you ever need any more help with that, don't forget I've got all my online courses, my weight loss courses, eBooks, healthy eating books, um, plus my audio downloads as well. And these are all available on my website. So we're just doing that quadricep stretch. All right, let's take that to the other leg. Always make sure that your supporting leg is slightly bent with this. We're not putting any direct pressure through the knee joint. Okay, that's good. And just holding that there. So what we're going to do now, let's stretch through those arms. So first of all, bring your arms in front, fix your ponytail first. And now just imagine you're hugging like a big beach ball. Try and think that you're separating the shoulder blades. So we're just getting a really lovely stretch through there. And so today's workout, you could do this every morning. If you're really wanting to target that area, take those arms behind, lift the chest. And then also, if you feel that you're still energized, you want to do more, you could do another one of my seven minute workouts, you can do my walking ones. I mean, literally, as you know, I've got over 920 for you to choose from. Let's now take that one arm behind, trying to get the fingertips between the shoulder blades and just feel that nice stretch through the back of the upper arm. That's good. And let's now take that to the opposite arm. So again, we're just increasing arm flexibility here. Try and get those fingertips as far down your back as you can. And amazing, so well done. So if you liked today's video, please definitely give it a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, I'm gonna be online for the next hour from this going up, so I'm here to answer your questions as a qualified trainer. And just to let you know, on the 1st of September, I do have my um, 
clothing line launching which is so exciting Lucy squad clothes um but definitely yeah if you like it give it a thumbs up and let me know as well what other workouts you're doing and also what other workouts you would like as your online trainer I'm here to keep giving you qualified effective healthy workouts that you can all do at home for free